depths of the story of this deep, deep, soulful track called Five Grand. When we first started and I arrived in uh, south of France, uh, Nicholas had a whole bunch of ideas down and he showed a bunch of them to me. There was just one little one that stuck with me. It was late at night and we were trying on this other track and it just kind of wasn't coming. We were working on it and, and the vibe was... Uh, it was there, but it wasn't there. And I said, hey, remember that one little piece that you had? Play that thing again. I grabbed the mic, he hit record, started thinking about what was actually in my hand, which was a Neumann U87 microphone, which is about $5,000. And I said, wow, five grand in my hand. And just kind of looking outside and around and you know, thinking of you know, other places in the world that, that uh, you know, how life would change with $5,000. Sometimes good and sometimes bad. I ad-libbed it for about five minutes of just going, and Nicholas looked at me like, oh my God, I can't believe. I said, I don't know, man, it's not me. Hey, what's up? It's a bit late, but like two in the morning. <laughs> and we did it. We did. we did it. We did just another crazy one uh, called a Five Grand in Five Grand in We started at 10 this morning. Yeah. And now I think it's 2 a.m. Yeah. So uh, 10. But, but we didn't have no idea of what, of what was going to happen. No idea. Because Five Grand in your end just... <laughs> It just came. It just came right at. <laughs> and um, the text is like improvisation. No, yeah. Oh, crazy. And because yeah. because yeah. of the 187. Because we had this guy. This, you, five you know, grand in our hand. Yeah. <laughs> five grand in our hand. The vocal part was, was super solid. We were going to record it in the morning. Um, and then Nicholas, you know, we, we started working on some more piano parts and he said, Hey, you know, we need this guy, uh, Ronnie Ray to come. Uh, he's a really good friend of mine. Really, really good, um, jazz, jazz, uh, piano player. And his father was a big jazz piano player as well. So he said, cool. And he, we called him and he was able to come the next afternoon. How are you, man? Sean. It's his Ronnie. And man, we, we just lit it up. We were in there for, I mean, three, three, four hours of just unbelievable piano parts and, you know, finding the different um, sounds and, and feels that would, you know, be able to flow through the song. Five grand in my head. Lock me up. I see your boat and I see your car. Also, I see your scar. The next day we recorded it and it just, it was it. We knew that we had something different, something really different than what we were doing. And it's a testament really to what End of Code is. You know, we started this project as, you know, and came up with the name End of Code just for that, to say that there is no code. There's no dress code. There's no code of conduct, any way to do something. It's whatever works. So five grand, I mean, five grand in your hand and the difference between what five grand does in somebody's hand and someone else's hand. And that's kind of where the lyric five grand in your hand and five grand in my hand came about. Five grand in your hand But I see You didn't make a stand 